My name is Dr. Anis Mikhail. I'm an attending spine surgeon. I'm an assistant clinical professor at the University of Illinois at Chicago. Low back pain is one of the most common medical conditions that patients present with. For that, I'm going to be talking about various lumbar spine conditions. Talking about spinal conditions, I'm going to start again by the anatomy of the lumbar spine. The lumbar spine is formed of bony blocks, we call them vertebrae, and in between them are cushions, they're shock absorbers, these are the discs. And in the back, there are two joints, they're called the facet joints. In the middle, there's the spinal canal, where the nerve roots live. These nerve roots come out at each level and they supply different areas of the lower extremities. When we get a spinal condition, it usually affects either the integrity of the spine, causes deformity, or impinges on the nerve roots. I'm going to be talking about three common conditions. One is the herniated disc, two is spinal canal stenosis, and three is spondylolisthesis. Herniated disc. The disc is like a jelly donut. It's formed of very tough dough outside and soft jelly inside. If you get a tear in the dough, the jelly will leak outside and pinches on the nerve. When it pinches on the nerve, the nerve is like a cord, electric cord, formed of three kinds of wires. One type kind of wire is for pain, the other one is for sensation, and the third one is for motor power. If you get the wires involved in pain, pinched, you get pain down the leg. If you get the wires responsible for, for sensation involved, you get numbness, tingling. And if you get the ones involved in motor power, you get weakness in the lower extremity. When someone gets a herniated disc, the first line of treatment is usually medication. We give them anti-inflammatory medication, physical therapy to improve their function and help with the pain. And if that doesn't work, then the next step is epidural steroid injection. In general, conservative treatment is successful in about 80 to 90% of these conditions. Surgery is usually the last resort. Surgery is indicated in one of two conditions. When conservative treatment fails and there's significant distress, whether pain, numbness, or tingling down the leg, and two, when you have significant compromise significant weakness in the leg. Surgery usually is in the form of a simple microdiscectomy, which involves about an inch incision in the back, and going with the microscope, shaving that piece of herniated disc out, which takes about 45 minutes to an hour, and then we close the skin with skin glue, typically, and the patient usually goes home the same day, so it's an outpatient surgery. It is a very successful surgery, and after that, depending on how much nerve damage they had or how much weakness they experienced, then physical therapy is tailored accordingly.